Brian Van from scorebytrackgear.com and today we're going to install a Dion brake lever guard on our 2014 Honda CBR1000RR STG Road Racing World Project bike. The whole brake lever guard concept is still relatively new. It's only a couple of years old at this point. Now every manufacturer's got one, essentially every hard parts manufacturer. This one's a little different from the rest. You know, I, I think the cost is a little higher, but there's a lot more engineering, a lot more features, a lot more benefits into this. And I would say at this point, based on my personal preferences, this one is my favorite. The reason behind that is all the other ones are at the end of the handlebar. I like to ride with my hand kind of when I'm in the corner off the end of the handlebar. So all those lever guards kind of get in the way for me. And that's an issue. So oftentimes I just, you know, I'll put them on, I'll ride with them a little bit, but then I prefer to take them off. Now the Dion device, it bolts on so that it is attaching to your clip-on tube here, right? And then it is extending over and covering the brake lever guard over here. So there's nothing on the end of the grip. And that is going to be much more appropriate for me. A lot of adjustability here. You're able to adjust the carbon lever guard itself. You are able to adjust the throw of it. You'll notice it's also spring-loaded. So if you take an impact, right, say somebody's passing you and almost hits your brake lever, it's going to pull the lever guard forward, okay? If you happen to have a fall and the handlebars fall a certain way, instead of, you know, damaging it, perhaps it'll just fold out of the way and you'll be able to reuse it. You're also able to adjust the throw so you can tune the distance between this and your brake lever because let's face it, all of us, we're going to adjust that lever differently. Some people like it close, some people like it out really far. This is going to allow you to do whatever's best for you. Installation of this really at the end of the day is pretty straightforward. They've got some torque specs on here too. We're going to take these two fasteners off. We're going to come over to the Honda, mock it up, make sure it's going to fit, and tighten them up. Dialing in the fit of the lever guard as we go. Once I get these two fasteners out, you can go ahead and slide this into place. I just want to take a look at it, kind of eyeball it here. <clears throat> you can see that's going to really ride right about there. You know, still tons of adjustability, but it's going to pretty much be right on top of the master cylinder for the most part. What we're going to do is we're going to begin by getting the forward most fastener in there and start. This one's the toughest one to reach, obviously. So we're going to get this one going first and then we'll put all the tension on the one on the back, kind of like when you're tightening up your master cylinder. install this too. You can consult that as well. That'll help you. A little bit. Grab a five millimeter round here. Get this one snug up. still kind of rotate it into position because the majority of the tension is going to be here at the back. You're going to want the front to seat in all the way, snugging that bolt up. The back, you are not going to be able to compress this until both edges touch. Okay, if you want to come on around here, Tyler, and show them the gap right here. You're still going to have a gap, but you're going to get some clamping force when you put the other fastener in there. So we're going to go ahead and do that. This one I'll be able to get to pretty easily with a T-handle. So I'll rotate this thing around, make sure I don't have any restriction here. And now the T-handle. You know, I may find the need to dial this in a little further, you know, when I'm out riding the bike. Fitted, if you will. Tighten these up. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to use a little bit of blue Loctite here, right? So 
get some blue Loctite and use that in that spot to kind of help make sure you don't lose the actual carbon lever guard itself. As far as distance goes for me, I like that right there. I think that's going to work out pretty good. The last thing we need to do is snug this jam up. All I had to use to do this, I got an 8 millimeter wrench, I got a 5 millimeter T handle, 4 millimeter T handle, and then a 4 millimeter and a 5 millimeter angled Allen wrench. That's all it took to do this. It's pretty simple, straightforward install. Once again, before you ride a motorcycle, you want to check and make sure you don't have any restrictions in the movement. Right, if the handlebar is back and forth, you want to make sure everything is in a position where it's not going to create any safety issues, but you know, as long as you've done the install right, that really shouldn't be a problem. This is the Dion device brake lever guard install on our 2014 Honda CBR1000RR STG Road Racing World Cup.